SAS 9 Content Assessment is a collection of applications designed to assist with the planning and preparation of migration, promotion, upgrading, and modernization of a SAS 9.4 platform. Content Assessment includes four applications, which can be run on a SAS 9.4 environment to provide insights into how the platform is used and what kind of SAS content has been created. The first, SAS 9 Inventory, scans the platform to find existing content and SAS artifacts creating an inventory and producing a count for each content type that it finds. SAS9 Profile analyzes the platform to understand its characteristics and identify details about the features that are used. SAS9 Code Check assesses SAS programs for compatibility with SAS via. And SAS9 System Evaluation searches for known issues that exist in a SAS9.4 environment that might cause issues during an in-place upgrade. It's been designed specifically to assist with preparing your environment for an in-place upgrade to the latest maintenance release of SAS 9.4. For more information about SAS 9 system evaluation, refer to the SAS demo video posted to the SAS users YouTube channel. Each of the content assessment applications creates a data mart during execution and produces a visual analytics report based on that data. Once the data is loaded into CAS for SAS via, or into Laser for environments running Visual Analytics 7.5 on SAS 9.4, the report can be opened to provide a visualization of the results of the content assessment application's execution. Now let's look at a demonstration, beginning with SAS 9 Inventory. First, the content assessment package must be downloaded. It's available as a free download from the SAS support website. Download the version appropriate for your operating system and copy it to your SAS deployment. After the package has been copied to your environment and extracted, the properties for your environment must be defined in two configuration files. Connection parameters for your SAS metadata server must be specified in the metapalms.sas file. and the path to the SAS home and configuration directories must be set in the setenv.yaml file. When running SAS9 inventory, there's also an additional option to specify the location of a path list file, which should contain a list of locations on disk for the inventory application to scan. Execute the inventory application by running the executable from the command line. The application will first perform some validation checks, after which it will proceed to create an inventory of all SAS content. When it completes, messages in the terminal window indicate the location of the log file, as well as the path of the data mart that was created. The data mart consists of several SAS tables that contain the inventory information. The terminal messages also indicate the steps that must be performed to publish the data. Publishing is the process of consolidating the data in the data mart, loading the tables to memory, and importing the Visual Analytics report. This demo environment is running Visual Analytics 7.5, so the VA75 flag must be added to the publish command. Ensure the laser server has been started prior to running the publish step. Users who want to view the report must be added to a newly created group called SAS Inventory Users. Members of this group can view content assessment reports by accessing VA and navigating to the Products folder and then into the Visual Analytics Administrator subfolder. The SAS9 Inventory report is located in the Inventory folder and it contains information about the SAS content that exists in the environment. The artifacts that are counted include objects in SAS metadata folders, SAS application server context and server definitions, SAS content on the file system and in the SAS content server, as well as information about installed and licensed products. SAS9 inventory can be run on multiple SAS9 deployments, and it creates a data mart for each inventory. The inventory application finds and counts various SAS artifacts and contents on your SAS 9.4 system. This information can be very useful when comparing the contents of source and target environments before and after promotion or migration. 
The SAS9 profile application is executed in much the same way by running the profile content command. Again, it first performs a brief validation before starting to perform the environment profiling process. Once again, when execution completes, a data mite is created and instructions are displayed for publishing the results. SAS9 profile requires the results to be imported into a SAS via environment. Copy the published data mart along with the contents of the packages directory, which contains the JSON packages for the profile reports to a SAS via environment. In the visual analytics application on the via environment, import and load the data to CAS. and then import the reports by importing the JSON files from the packages directory. Once the report has been imported, it can be viewed by accessing Visual Analytics and opening the report from the folder location it was imported into. The report displays detailed information about the contents of the SAS 9.4 environment, such as information about SAS libraries, tables, stored processes, DI jobs, reports, OLAP cubes, information maps, and relationships between these objects. The profile application provides information about the features that have been used in your SAS 9.4 system. It drills down into the detail of your SAS artifacts, reporting on detailed characteristics such as the structures of jobs and hierarchies in OLAP cubes. It also looks at enterprise guide and enterprise minor projects and displays information about object dependencies. Profile can also be run as needed on multiple SAS deployments and like inventory, it creates a data mart for each SAS deployment that is profiled. The SAS9 code check application also runs in a similar way, but it requires two additional parameters to be specified on the command line. The source location flag defines the path to the top level directory at which to begin searching for .sas code files. And the scan tag parameter requires a unique identifier to be set for each instance of code checks execution. When execution completes, the resulting data mark can be published and the report viewed either in Visual Analytics 7.5 or on SAS via. The report shows procedures that are used in your SAS 9 programs that need to be updated or removed to be compatible with SAS via. It also displays hard-coded file paths that must either exist in the new via platform or must be updated. The code check is designed to assist with modernizing your SAS9 platform to SAS via. The application analyzes SAS code files stored on the file system and looks for elements and procedures that may be incompatible with SAS via. The SAS 9.4 environment on which it runs must be running maintenance release 5 or later. When considering migrating, promoting, upgrading or modernizing your SAS 9.4 platform, being sufficiently prepared is key. The SAS 9 content assessment applications can help and they should be run prior to commencing these activities as part of the planning and preparation steps. Refer to the documentation on the SAS support site for more information.